Second class requirement, number seven, part B. Demonstrate your ability to jump feet first into the water over your head in depth. Level off and then swim 25 feet on the surface. Then stop, turn sharply, resume swimming, and return to your starting place. The very best way to learn to swim is by taking courses from qualified instructors, like at Scout Camp or from the Red Cross or YMCA. Your scout leader can help you find a class to attend. And one of the first steps in swimming is learning to jump into deep water. You can start with a simple jump entry into chest deep water. Just stand at the edge of the pool or dock with your knees slightly bent, your arms extended forward. Lean slightly forward at the waist, then hop in. Practice this until you feel comfortable doing it. Now you're ready to try a leaping entry. It's like a jump entry, except you stand with one foot back. Then take off, reaching out and up with your arms and stretching your front leg out. Leap out a good distance, and when you enter the water, snap your legs together and slap downward with both arms. If you do it right, your face won't get wet and you're ready to start swimming. Mastering the leaping entry is one part of this requirement. Another is the swimming stroke itself. The best swimming strokes to learn are called crawl strokes. There's the front crawl and the back crawl. The front crawl stroke has three parts. The flutter kick, the rotating arm stroke, and rhythmic breathing. With a flutter kick, your ankles are relaxed and you move the entire leg. When the left leg moves up, the right moves down, repeating in a smooth, steady motion. Now for the arm stroke on the front crawl. You extend your arm, swing it down to your hip, then raise your elbow and extend the arm forward again in a rotating motion. Alternate your left and right arms so that when one arm is extended, the other arm is down at the hip. Another important part of the front crawl is rhythmic breathing. That means learning to exhale, or breathe out, while your face is down in the water, and inhale, or breathe air in, as your face turns up out of the water during the stroke. It's a rhythm that you learn to repeat over and over as you become a stronger swimmer. The last skill in this requirement calls for stopping, turning, and starting to swim in the opposite direction, all in deep water. Stopping and turning in shallow water is easier because you can use your feet on the bottom. But in water over your head, you need a different technique. To stop the cross stroke, simply stop kicking. Raise your head while pushing down and forward with your arms. To reverse your direction after you stop, sweep both arms across your body in one direction while turning your head and shoulders in the opposite direction. Once you're facing the direction you want, you can start swimming by pressing your extended arms down from the surface of the water until they're alongside your body. At the same time, lean forward with your face down in the water and begin your flutter kick. Your body should glide to a level position before beginning the crawl stroke. That's second class requirement 7B. The skills you need in order to jump feet first into water over your head. Swim 25 feet. Stop. Reverse your direction. And swim back to your starting point. And as always, the key to success is practice, practice, practice.